One of the most common questions I get is, George, how do I build an email list? And as somebody who has been building an email list for eight years, I'm gonna give you some of my top lessons in this video. Okay, so let me start with saying that the ways that we're typically taught to build an email list either are annoying to the website visitor or it feels slightly dishonest. And let me, let me explain. You've experienced this, right? You go to a website and then you're trying to find some information or trying to check out some business and then you get this pop-up that you know you have to close and the pop-up says oh get our free gift or join our email newsletter by putting your email and it's not what you expected okay nowadays maybe people expect it a little bit more but it's not it's the bottom line is it's kind of annoying experience some people are only slightly annoyed some people are very annoyed and it's just not a great way to start a relationship with an email subscriber even though the fact is yes you will get more subscribers if you use a pop in pop-up opt-in but again it's not a great way to start the relationship and you will find that your open and click rates for your email newsletters are not as high as if you did not use the pop-up opt-in in my experience um, the um, the second thing about most the way that most mostly it's taught is that if it's slightly dishonest, right? Because you subscribe to somebody's email newsletter, you're trying to get the free gift or whatever ebook or video course they have for you, and then you start getting a series of emails over time trying to sell you other things. You didn't expect that. And so it's not a great way to build a and so the first four years of my business. I built an email list of more than 15,000 subscribers using those kinds of methods. I did it through offering a free webinar to people, um, teaching something, and then everyone who signed up for my free webinar was automatically put into my email newsletter to get you know, further promotions of things I was trying to sell and further content. And, and I built an email list of 15,000 and I was getting, my open rates were on industry average or even lower than industry average over time and this is what a lot of marketers don't tell you when they're teaching you email list building strategies is that they're teaching you to do things that are not building a great relationship with your audience and your open rates for your email newsletters people how many people open your emails will keep going down over time because it's not a great relationship and so a few years ago I changed the way I build my email list and I, I decided to become a lot more do things that were a lot more authentic to me. And I actually removed 90% of my email newsletter subscribers, people who hadn't opened my emails for months. Um, I decided to remove them. I said, you know what, I'm just gonna try to build a list of people who really wanna read my emails now. And I have never looked back. I, I got those 90% onto a spreadsheet just in case I regretted it, but I never imported them back. And so, um, and here's my little dog buddy finding something to dig <laughs> a little bit of a, a quick uh, diversion here um, so let me tell you how I am now building an email list I do it by being honest with people about what kind of email they're gonna receive from me and how frequent so I get people I have three email lists now I have a monthly list where people get my my recent my best recent content for the previous month they get it once a month they can join that list or I have a weekly email list which is my newest content they get that once a week and then I have my so-called workshops and coaching list which is people who want to hear when I'm selling my next workshop or when I have openings for my coaching so in other words I'm really clear with people what they're gonna get you know the people who sign up for my for my content email my monthly email newsletter they're not gonna get special emails trying to sell my next workshop etc and um, so in other words an agreed upon type of content and frequency of content is typically not done in when people build their email list and that's what I recommend and my open rates for my emails are double double what most of my peers are getting okay so I know that it's working I have a full business so it's working people open my emails and they love it etc etc um, I'm gonna have more to say in the notes of this video because it's getting a little bit long this video but but the bottom line I want to suggest to you is think of your email list not as ooh, these are people that are gonna I'm gonna sell stuff to but think of it and when a lot of times people teach us 
um, to do an ethical bribe, right? Ethical bribe. Really, that's the language they're using, which is like, oh, bribe them to join your email list. See, the way that we're taught to, to relate to our subscribers is not, it's not ethical. I don't think it's not human. It's not really based on friendship. And that's really how I look at my email list and my subscribers. It's more like I'm building a friendship. So that's really the bottom line, is how do you wanna start that friendship and how do you wanna nurture that friendship over time? I hope this is helpful and always open to your comments and questions. And as I mentioned, I'll have more detailed uh, ideas and thoughts for you in the notes of this video. Be well.